Welcome back to Spreadsheet Solving. In our previous video, we looked at a particular application to Google Spreadsheets, which is a tool used to organize data. In this case, we called it a goal tracker, and it was used for you to create a log of the goals that you've managed to keep. So in this case, in this video, we want to focus only on the formula used to generate the spreadsheet. So, Here's a sample. Let's say from weeks January 1st through 7th, you accomplished this many number of goals. Now, a question is, how many times did you accomplish each particular goal? So in this case, for eat breakfast, how many times did you accomplish it during that week? And here you can see pretty simply it's three. Now, as you continue to insert data in, it's no longer very fun to count the number. The great thing about a spreadsheet is using a formula the, cap the spreadsheet will calculate it automatically for you. So, how do we do that? In cell B3, which is where we want the total number to be, we'll enter a formula. A sum formula. Type in sum with an open parentheses, and the next thing that follows is the range of cells that you would like added up. So in this case, because we're, we'll only focus on week one of January 2013, go down and reference those particular cells, B4 through B10. Close paren, enter. At that point, you get three, which is exactly what you expected. A great thing about spreadsheets is you can copy the formula and paste that formula across. So to do that, go back to B3, go into Edit and Copy. A quick way to do that on your keyboard is to hit Control C. Then highlight the range of cells that you would like to be to have that formula reflected in. Go back to Edit. In this case, go into Paste Special because we would like to paste the formula only, not the values. We don't want three to populate. We want the formula to be in that particular cell. Paste formula only, and there you have it. You have a sum of all the goals that you accomplish for each goal during that week. Now another neat thing is that we can take a look and sum up all the goals in each particular category, health, academic, and personal. And the way we would do that is we want to introduce another formula, which is the sum if formula. Now the great thing about the sum if formula is that it enables you to add a particular cells based on a criteria, and in this case, our criteria is the category. So let's use an example. January 4th, we would expect in this cell, L7, the total number of health goals that you accomplished that day is four, the total number of academic goals is one, and the total number of personal cells goals is two. Now, rather than just type them in, we'll use a formula to generate those particular responses. Again, start off with an equal sign. And this time, rather than just type in sum, type in sum if. At this point, you want to select the range that the criteria is applied to. So in this case, the criteria is based on cells B2 to I2, which are the categories that are specified. Now the actual criteria is health itself. For column M, it will be academic. For column N, personal. But for this particular column, it's health. And then the last, after you insert a comma, is you need to select the range from which the values are summed. So we want to add up all the times these goals were accomplished based on the criteria of health. At that point, you can click on a close paren and enter and we'll get the four. There's a concept that we can think of that's called a relative versus an absolute reference. And what I mean by that is, remember, when we took that sum formula and copied it across, the range of cells in that formula moved over as you copied and pasted that formula. So the formula here where it referenced B4 to B10, when you copied it here and moved it over by one column, the range that the sum formula captured also moved over from B to C. 
Now, if we were to do the same thing here for the sum if formula, that would be a problem because we need this range for both the category, which is the range that the criteria is applied to, and also the number of times you accomplish, which is the range from which the values are summed, we need those to remain constant. What we would like is for the criteria to change. So how can we keep these ranges static? At that point, we'd like to introduce the absolute reference. How do we keep it absolute? The way we do that is in the formula, we need to tell the spreadsheet to keep it constant by adding in a dollar sign. So we want to keep the cells B2 to I2 completely static. Those will never change. Those are the categories, the range that the category will be applied to. So at that point, we need to add a dollar sign both to the column B, row 2, and also to column I and row 2. Now, we would like the academic criteria to be reflected and the personal criteria to be reflected when we move over. So the, the row, column should not change. I'm sorry, the column should change, but the row should be static. So we would want to keep row 2 constant, and as such, we add a dollar sign in front of 2. Now, as for the last part, when we copy the formula up and down, we would want the rows to change. We don't want the columns to change, though. So let's keep the columns B and I constant. The rows can change, so we will not put in a dollar sign in front of 7. So at this point, we've set up our formula correctly. And not only did we set up correctly for that cell, but we've set it up correctly for all the cells that you'd want to copy that formula to. So once again, click on L7, copy it, highlight from L to N, from rows 4 to 10, edit, paste special, paste formula only, at that point, you will notice correctly, for instance, January 1st, you had one health goal accomplished, it's reflected by one, and none in academic and personal. So there you have it. Today, we learned three important things. We learned the sum formula. We learned the sum if formula. And very importantly, we learned the concept of relative versus absolute reference, which is something you will be seeing over and over again because each time you create a formula and each time you want to make it more efficient by copying and pasting it across cells, you will want to keep certain ranges static. Again, to make a formula reference something absolutely, you would want to introduce a dollar sign right here in the formula. Thank you so much. For more information, you can see our website, www.spreadsheetsolving.com.